Yeah, they come from the 1200 meter marker. Noodle jumped very awkwardly towards the outside and lost about three to four lengths as the starter said go. From the 1200 meter disc, Drury Lane's looking to overcome a draw on the outside. Miss Brody's right there with Royal Rose in the initial stages. Catherine of Aragon's a couple of lengths off. Diamond in the sky, red sleeves and cap to the outside. Princess and alias three around. U Bolt racing five and a half off them. Quintella, news filter, Google Me, Dark Rose behind these runners. And Noodles an awkward ride at the back of the field. There's nine lengths top to tail at the 600 meter zone. Drury Lane at the top of the lane by a length and a quarter. The Grey Royal Rose, the first one to apply pressure. Diamond in the sky just stalks them towards the outside. Miss Brody, Catherine of Aragon goes to the inside. U-Bolt's got three lengths to make up. News filter hooked extreme outside in the pink silks. Diamond in the sky puts on big pressure. Miss Brody towards the inside. Princess and Alia tries to close in. Drury Lane's trying to fight back. Catherine of Aragon, Miss Brody's now running her heart out. Diamond in the sky, it's close over the line. Bird. Miss Brody coming home, best of all won it. Catherine of Aragon second, Drury Lane and Diamond in the Sky, then you bolt. The pink bridle of number six, Miss Brody. There you can see her tongue's out over the last 150 metres. The tongue flapping, but never mind. The AP answer, five-year-old Bay Mare and Alec Forbes. They drive home for the Wendy Whitehead stable. Catherine of Aragon's running a big race towards the inside at five rand 40 the place. Nine, Drury Lane, 10 rand 70 the place. And then came number one, Diamond in the Sky. That went off as the second favourite as the late money came for number four, News Filter. You bolt Princess Analia, Quintella, News Filter, and then came Google Me. Noodle was an awkward ride. Royal Rose, Dark Rose. Coming to the 300, Miss Brody, one off the inside, white sleeves and cap now galvanized into action, Drury Lane, Diamond in the Sky look threatening towards the outside for a few strides, Catherine of Aragon's up the inside, but the last 75 metres, Miss Brody, she digs down deep for a host of winning connections, this is the daughter of AP Onsa, bred by the Fort Stud for the Wendy Whitehead Stable, that's a wrap from Gravel, safe trip home. Well, trainer, trainer Wendy Whitehead has some nice runners uh, this afternoon at Gravel and uh, really nice to see her on the board here with number six, Miss Brody, the five-year-old. And as I mentioned, uh, uh, whilst uh, Alec was coming into the parade ring, Wendy, is, you've done an awesome job with this filly. I don't know what went wrong at her last start, but you gave us some time off. You do. Excuse me. You know, Dee's... Um Everything didn't go right for her that day. We wanted to try in a 1400 because she's a type of filly that um, she stays one paced and um, she was staying one pace and just getting beat, just getting beat, just getting beat. So I thought, you know what, let's just give her a little bit further and and um, try. And it, it just didn't work for her that day on the grass, number one. She didn't, it's her first time on the grass. She obviously doesn't enjoy it. So I chose to just hang on, come back to the track here. But unfortunately, there weren't races for her. And mm. we waited and we waited and we waited. And, uh, you know, I think uh, some of the partners did get a little bit upset about it. But I think that little bit of upsetness is now gone. Sure, sure. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> And uh, I just want to say well done to the Ford State. I want to say Mariska Boetza and Leone Boetza. You know, Tians will be looking down on us um, again today for, for this um, uh, win from Miss Brody. Well done. Alec rode a great race. I know she's a very headstrong filly, though she's not an easy filly. Um, and well done to Greg. He's brought his whole, all his, his, his family here from overseas. And they haven't come into the photos, but well done to them for being here. You put one on the board. We're not going to do an autopsy of your runners, but... I could safely say that Soldier's Bride is a winner without a penalty. That's the way I saw it. Absolutely. I'm going to go 1,400 with her next time. Um, she just got bumped at the start and it just didn't go away early. So I'm going to put her in a 1,400 and I think she'll go very close again. Well, She's an ATM at the moment. <laughs> nice way to end off the, the day, uh, Wendy. Well played. Thank you so much, Dees. Wendy Whiten, Alec Forbes, he's been batting throughout the day and touch unlucky in the first race. I mean, just give us your take on that. I, I thought you were very unlucky there, Alec. 
Oh, you know, she got going, but she got going a bit late, you know, and uh, I, the better horse won on the day, I suppose. Might, she, she might be better over 1,400 next time. Is she just slow at the pens, or you have to wake her up? She, she tends to get lost the first part of the race. She just sort of ambles along, and you can't make her go faster. Sure. And then she unwinds at the end, you know, and uh, uh, as has happened, you know, three times now, she's, she's run second. Well, you've given this filly an absolute pearl over, right? Talk us through it. Yeah, did you know she had a, a decent draw and um, she likes to race really handy. And I was content to go to the front today and I bounced her out and had her there. And he was one quicker than me, so I let him go. And when I turned for home, um, she was traveling well, but I didn't think that she'd fight them off that hard, you know, and she wouldn't let them pass. And uh, I thought it was a win full of merit. And um, look, her, her maiden form, her maiden win form is probably the strongest win form in the country, sure. in the, at least in Natal. And um, I think she'll probably, you know, she'll go on from here. Nice way to end of the day, Alec. Thanks very much, Dees. Uh, a big well done to Wendy and Tash and everyone at the yard, and well done to the owners. Fantastic, Alec Forbes. Now let's get the owner in, or the owners come through. Whoever wants to have a chat, I'm going to chat, speak to all the guys here. I'm not going to miss out uh, anybody, but uh, well done to Mr. Ram Kasoon, King, Chamonix, and of course, uh, the Whiteford, Allen, Beckering, Davis, well, Sheldon has written all the guys out. He's, he's, he's gave all the guys. It's, it's a big group of people, isn't it? Yes, Dees, thank you so much for this. Um, it's well worth the wait. Very nervous coming to the races. Wendy gave us all the confidence. And it's my first winner, so I'm over the moon. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Well done to Alec, well done to the yard. Brilliant, because young blood is what's lacking in this game. And uh, your affinity to the sport, how did it arise? Uh, through my dad a while ago, started horse racing when I was a young kid and I'm dedicating this one to him. Well, fantastic and give our best to the rest of the partners and your first, may this be the first of many, many more. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. Well done to all the guys here with uh, Miss Brody. If you got uh, that number in the pick six, well played. Number six, I mentioned that place to accumulate t tickets will fall. 6, 11, and 9, uh, the first three past the post, and then rounded off by number one, Diamond in the Sky. And that's a wrap of our race meeting. We've had nine races here in KZN on Wednesday on the poly track, and uh, it was absolutely fantastic being back after an absence of a week and a half here in KZN. A uh, big thank you to Sheldon Peters calling all nine races, Raymond Rogers and his team, and of course, a meeting never goes by without the mention of the hardest working cameraman on course, who is none other than Zane. From ourselves, Dees Dynan, until we meet again, which will be on Sunday. We're looking forward to 11 races at Scottsville. Take care. Salani Gashle.